we were taken up the Malay Peninsula from Singapore in cattle trucks. 30 or 40 to a truck, no sanitation. You're allowed off the truck about twice a day for a bowl of rice, back into the truck. With no sanitation, if you, well, <laughs> you either got, you either got going when you got out of the truck from the occasions you broke or you didn't. As you can well imagine, it took five days. We were to go as far as we, as they possibly could up to the Burma border. This entailed a march of 200 miles through uh, Jungle Path, which I think we did in about, I think about 10 or 12 days. We uh, had little clothing, not much in the way of footwear. Some of us had lost our shoe, boots and shoes long before. We had cl uh, clogs. We uh, lost people on the way on the march. What happened to them, I have no idea, but they fell out. One can only assume that they didn't get into a camp that we were passing. They were left to die. Eventually, we got to our camp, which was on the Burma border. It was equidistant from one end of the railway to the other. And uh, it was, there were Australians in the camp and ourselves. And in this camp, we were, as I said, equidistant from both ends of the railway line. The rations were poor. Rations were bought from either end. When they reached us, everybody in every camp had had their pick of them before they got to us. We got the remnants of any rations. People started dying. We had the various topical diseases. We had uh, dengue fever, dysentery, uh, malaria, and cholera. People started dying. If you became unfit, they had a hut which they called hospital hut. It was not a hospital, it was just a hut. No medicines, nothing at all. If you went into the hospital hut, the Japanese cut your rations by, of rice by half. 